This lesson today, boys and girls, is a step further on from the elements of art where we discussed line. Today what we're going to do is we're going to create our own Navajo blanket design. We are still using the resist technique, which we had used earlier, which is the oil pastels and the watercolours. And today we are actually going to make our own Navajo blanket, but we're going to look at using the oil pastels to create thick and thin lines. So where we've already discussed zigzags and horizontal lines and vertical lines, today we're doing thick and thin to create this lovely design. Now what we're going to need, a sheet of white paper, oil pastels, watercolours and water and a brush. Now select your colours that you wish to use and remember, as I said, the lesson is thick and thin lines. So I'm going to, initially I'm going to draw myself some bands. And the lines that I'm drawing are horizontal. I'm going to colour that, that band in. Now remember we're actually going to be painting. So we don't want to be filling the whole page with, um, with oil pastel because we want to use the watercolour to go in between the oil pastel that we've created. Now I've just created a nice thick band there. Now I'm going to take another colour. I'm going to use a variation of colours as well and I would like you to do the same. I'm going to create another band. This time I'm just going to do a nice single line there. I'm going to get another and I'm going to do I'm going to double it. So I've got this nice thick band and I'm going to do the same there. And what we're going to create or what you're going to create, I'm just showing you how I'm going to do mine is that we're going to create lots of different designs within the bands. This is just one way that you could create your thick and thin lines and your blanket design. Now, I'm going to do nice broad yellow bands this way, nice designs. nice and thick. I'm going to get another colour and I'm going to do very thin lines and I'm going to create diamonds and what I'm actually doing here is actually creating nice geometric shapes. Now with your blanket you don't have to follow the same pattern as I've done. You could actually make a big band that goes around and then create a design in the centre as well if you wished. Now I'm going to do arrows this time and I'm going to make those arrows thicker. So if you see how I did that, I did an arrow and then another arrow and then you can fill that, that in. Make an arrow. Okay. Actually, I would like to introduce another colour in that as well, so we can make it that thick and thin line. Do you see the contrast that's happening there already? We've got thick and thin. We've got a single band there, we've got a broader band there. So more variety makes it a lot more interesting. I'm going to make this one like the top of a castle or step stepping stones. I'm going to repeat that underneath. Again, add in some more contrast with a thin line. And once more, I'm going to actually mirror this. So I've got this nice thick band of zigzag lines and that beautiful rich yellow. Now, now that I've got my design, I'm going to take my watercolours And same technique as before, and you can actually see, see as I paint into that section, it's actually going over that yellow oil pastel, but it's not taking the colour. It's filling in any of the white paper, but not where the oil is. And as I said to you before, oil and water don't mix. 
So this is the resist technique that we are using again today. And you get this beautiful textured pattern and finish. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to create your own Navajo design blanket using thick and thin lines and as you're doing that I'll get this one finished for you to see later. <laughs> 